What's up, Internet? This is Hourglass Gaming. And for today's video, I wanted to talk about Deadly Ground and kind of give my thoughts on the game mode and what I think its strengths and weaknesses are. For anyone who doesn't know, basically, Deadly Ground is a modification of the Variety Pack game mode. And so when you jump in, it's going to be Variety Pack. It's going to be Hard Point, Capture the Flag, Marked for Death. But then it's also going to have this modification to the maps where there is a deadly electrical fog on the ground. And so this is going to kind of change the way that the game plays. Titans are going to be a lot less relevant, and um, it's going to kind of force people to get a little more creative with their wall running and movement systems. And so there's kind of two main things, I think. The first is that Deadly Ground, I think, is what Pilot Skirmish should have been. Um, when Pilot Skirmish came out, it was kind of like Titanfall without all the things that made Titanfall unique and awesome. And it just like didn't feel right for some reason. But Deadly Ground, I think, fixes that and lends an emphasis to pilot-on-pilot -pilot infantry combat. So for anyone who doesn't know, when you drop in a Titan while you're playing Deadly Ground, it's immediately going to start taking damage. And this is because the electrical fog damages the Titans as well as the pilots. So you're only going to have your Titan for a minute or two once you drop it in. And that means that the Titans are a much smaller part of the game. Um, so if you're someone who doesn't really like the Titans, if you don't like the asymmetry between them and the pilots, or if you don't like having to pilot them, like if you just want to be an infantry person and you're not interested in the Titans, then the Titans have become a much smaller part of the game in Deadly Ground. And so your kind of not wanting to play in a Titan is going to be a much smaller hindrance. You know, it's not going to get in the way of your team's success as much. I think Deadly Ground feels a lot like what Pilot Skirmish should have felt like, where it's a really unique game, but it also kind of gives people what they want in not having Titans be as much of a part of the game. The second thing is that Deadly Ground will make you a much better Titanfall player. I think a lot of people stopped playing Titanfall before they really came to understand the game, which is why they got bored, and they kind of never realized that Titanfall is as much about movement as it is about shooting stuff. It's a ton of fun to figure out how to move from one point to another in Titanfall. And, you know, I... Like, it feels as good to, like, nail a wall running route as it does to shoot someone. I think the issue is that it's difficult to motivate that creativity when the ground is available to you. So it's, it's hard to force yourself to wall run when you could just sprint from one location to another. And I think a lot of Call of Duty or Battlefield or traditional FPS players don't really realize what's available to them on the Titanfall maps. And so you end up just running. For a very long time, I just ran from one point to another, and I didn't really understand what I was missing out on. And I still don't think I'm particularly good at Titanfall's movement system, but I'm a lot better at it than I was. And even with that small improvement, I can see what a big change it makes to the game. So Deadly Ground kind of forces you to embrace that element of the game and kind of gives you the space to play around with it. It levels the playing field so that you don't feel like you're hindering your team if you're trying to figure out how to get from one point to another. Because you do actually have to figure out how to get from one point to another because there's electrical fog on the ground. And so it will, kind of, it will force you to embrace that creativity and I think in the end that will make you a better Titanfall player. The game is unique and different than a lot of FPSs, and the movement system is a big part of it. And until you kind of fully embrace that, you're not getting the full Titanfall experience. And so I encourage people to play Deadly Ground because it will not only make the game a lot more fun for you, it will also make you much better at it. However, Deadly Ground is definitely not perfect. The clearest issue is that some of the maps are not as well tuned towards it as others. Um, Runoff, for example, which is one of my favorite maps most of the time, is a really frustrating map to play on. If you drop down into the drainage canal, there's just there's no hope for you. You're just going to die. Um, which is really frustrating because a lot of the time I'll be like working on figuring out a new way to do something 
and I make a mistake and I go flying into the ditch and then I'm just dead and there's like nothing you can do. And in Capture the Flag, the flag has a tendency to fall into the canals and then it's just going to stay there until it resets, which is really annoying to wait for. Also, on some maps like Lagoon or Training Ground, the zip lines are heavily used. And so if you, if one team kind of locks those down, then it can be very difficult to move. Um, Lagoon has some more creative solutions to the problem. But it also emphasizes that on some maps, utilization of the movement system relies in part on bunny hopping across the ground. And so like on training ground, it's clear that that map kind of relies on bunny hopping to get from one wall to the next. But in deadly ground, if you do that, you're going to start getting zapped. And so the two teams kind of end up using those zip lines at either end of the big warehouse hangar building. And so I feel like the kind of the spirit of the map is lost in that and you kind of just end up zip lining your way from one objective to the next. The other issue I have with Deadly Ground, which is a small one and is kind of just a part of the game at this point, is that it's only available in variety pack, which I understand the logic of this because Respawn needs to keep its player base from being divided too much just because it's so small. Um, you know, if you jump into um, a lot of the objective-based games, there will be less than um, 300 players on at a time worldwide in like just playing Hardpoint, um, which is concerning. Um, and so Respawn needs to try and keep people together as much as possible so that the matchmaking is still fun and interesting. But I still find it frustrating to get put into game modes that I don't enjoy. You know, with ranked play, I really enjoy hard point, and I'm able to play to the best of my abilities without getting too invested in the outcome. But in Capture the Flag or Marked for Death, I get really frustrated when my team is losing, and it completely ruins the experience for me. And so, like, I don't want to play those modes, but I do want to play with the Deadly Ground. Unfortunately, I think this is just going to be part of the game. You know, the community is not big enough to support lots of different modes. I think a nice way to implement it would be if Deadly Ground versions of maps were just part of the entire game, like if that was just part of Titanfall, was sometimes the maps are in Deadly Ground mode, and so it'd be like you would add those maps back into the playlist as Deadly Ground versions of the maps, and then they would come up mixed in with the normal maps. You know, you might play Angel City with no Deadly Ground, and then two games later you get Angel City with Deadly Ground. And I think that would be a nice way to implement it, Unfortunately, I don't see that happening with Titanfall. Hopefully in a future title, it'll be a little different. But in the end, I definitely encourage people to get on Deadly Ground. I think it's a ton of fun, and it really will improve your skills. It forced me to learn new routes and refine my abilities, and I think it's a powerful tool to get you to implement Respawn's mechanics more effectively. Uh, but what do you guys think? I would love to hear if you've been playing Deadly Ground and what your thoughts on it are. As always, I hope you enjoyed if you'd like to see more gameplay and commentary, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.